Let's get you the latest updates coming in from Sri Lanka, where the outrage against the Rajapaksha has continued. After, in fact, all that's happened with Gotpaya Rajapaksha, his younger brother, Basil Rajapaksha, tried to leave the country last night. Immigration staff, however, rebelled from duty at the Colombo International Airport. So there's so much anger on the ground that the Rajapakshas are finding it virtually impossible to even leave. Basil Rajapaksha last night tried desperately to leave from Colombo, but couldn't because immigration staff refused to process his passport. Let's take this across now to Pramod Madhav. He's joining us live from Colombo with more details on this. Pramod, good morning. You know, the anger isn't dying down with every passing day. It's only growing. And that's why we understand that when Basil Rajpaksha reached the airport, he was turned back. Even the immigration staff now have rebelled. Yes, Ashita, the anger against the Badi Rajapaksha family is still fuming uh, among the hearts of the people of Sri Lanka, especially in Colombo. And this is day three visuals from uh, uh, the uh, president's office here. You could see a long serpentine queue, and these are the people from uh, uh, Colombo and surrounding areas who have come over here to visit the president's office. So now the protesters are the ones who are in guard of the president's office, especially this hall, and people are standing over here to go and visit the president's office. Several people whom we spoke to yesterday very clearly mentioned that they all believe that once Rajapaksha, Gotapaya Rajapaksha resigns, they will have a better future. This seems to be the only contingent plan. And in fact, as you could see on the other side of the compound wall, this long serpentine line is going very, very like uh, uh, far away. And uh, it's really long, actually. These are the people on a uh, Tuesday morning who have come over here to visit the President's Palace. And what the protesters have done is that once they finish, the, uh, the, uh, once they finish, they finish visiting this palace, on the other side you could see the tents where they are also being provided food and water. That is also being taken care of. Such way the protest still continues in Sri Lanka's Colombo. And these uh, buildings, the government institutions, are occupied by the protesters. They have placed placards, they are raising, they are taping the flag, and they are inviting the public to come over here, visit the place, and many of them are taking, it has become a selfie frenzy zone where they are holding the national flags and they are taking selfies in front of these buildings, showing their patriotism. But each and everyone here in chorus say only one thing, and that is Gota go home, Gota go gama. That way the protest is still continuing. There are still confusions about what's going to happen because tomorrow is the day for the president who said that he will resign on 13th of July. People here believe that he is going to resign. They say that they have exerted as much as pressure as possible, but they also claim that they are determined might not leave this area until the president resigns. And the uh, other politicians here and the uh, government office officers have stated that 15th July, 20th July, these are the important dates by, by, by which the parliament will go ahead and choose another president to make sure the government works. But these institutions, which are the center of government power and function, have not, what, is not able to function properly because of the protesters being here. However, the protesters have also made sure that the basic amenities go ahead, and that's the reason they are not storming important areas the government functions happen. But this hall okay. in particular, it seems to be a symbolism, and that's the reason protesters are here, and they're also inviting the public to come over and visit the place. Right, uh, Pramod, you know, what you're showing us is unprecedented. Civilians out there on the streets, still holding up outside the presidential palace and continuing the agitation. Thanks for the moment for joining us with that ground report.